Today we're gonna have a fun time. Why? Because we're gonna talk about one of my absolute favorite things, cats. Yeah. I'm kind of a crazy cat lady. I know some people like dogs, but they're wrong. Cats are better. Dogs need help with a lot of things that cats don't need help with. I guess there are two kinds of people in this world. People who like helping their dog know where and when to pee and poop, and then picking up their dog's warm feces with a plastic bag wrapped around their hand. And then there are people who like cats. Which leads me to the number one amazing thing about cats. They can pee and poop on their own. They can use a litter box. And yes, you have to scoop it up a couple times a week, but by then it's all solidified and you never have to know what the temperature is of their feces by touching it with your hand covered in a plastic bag. If you have outdoor cats, which I don't recommend because statistically speaking, they get lost or hit by cars or eaten by coyotes if you live in the kind of neighborhood I live in, they can go outside and do their potty business and you're none the wiser. They just do it all on their own. The number two amazing thing about cats. Cats don't need you all that much for a purpose for their existence and happiness. Well, most cats don't. Generally speaking, dogs are bred for their loyalty and connection to humans. It's how they're wired, and that's great for people who are into them, but I really don't want an animal that is so devoted to me that they look like they're gonna cry when I walk out the door, or that looks like a spouse who got caught cheating when you discover that they've eaten your favorite shoe. I don't need a relationship with a non-verbal animal who always looks like they need to be forgiven. It's weird. The number three amazing thing about cats, they don't eat your shoes. Like seriously, do we need any more reasons to love a cat than that? Dogs chew everything. They teeth like babies, but they're bigger than babies and they cause a lot more damage than babies. Cats don't do that. They don't do that. The number four amazing thing about cats. They don't have weird smelling fur unless they're sick or need medical attention. Dogs always smell weird to me. They smell warm and moist, like they got wet at the beach and then sat in a hot car the whole way home. Just I don't like that smell. Cats smell good because they are groomers. It's what they spend a lot of their time doing, just licking their fur. Like they just clean it all usually right in front of you. They clean all their bits. There you have it, clean bits. The number five amazing thing about cats. My cat is the most amazing cat I've ever owned. He's hairless. He's not a sphinx, which is what most people think. He's a Peterbald. His name is Esau and he's amazing because he has an incredibly social personality and he always wants to be held. For some people, having a cat with such high needs might be annoying or stressful or too much pressure. I think it's a good thing that Esau wants to always be held because I always want to hold him. And I get a tremendous amount out of my relationship with him. He knows me and he needs me and I care about him. Those are phenomenal things to feel for another entity, be it person or animal. This conglomeration of kitty DNA and protein and mitochondria and cells that make up tissues and tissues that make up organs and organs that make up organ systems makes for a kitty brain which produces an animal that knows the sound of my car when I come up the driveway. Esau recognizes the sound of my voice and he greets me at the door. What a special thing. He wants to see me every single time I come home. Is that true of anyone I've ever dated? No. Is that true of my kids? Absolutely not. Sometimes I walk in the door and they're like, whatever, why isn't the Wi-Fi working? But every single time I enter Esau's personal space, I get love delivered to me just because I'm me. He looks at me like he feels so good that I've come home. He never tells me I'm wrong. He never loses faith in me. Even if I've had a bad day, he makes it better by letting me hold him. His skin's really soft and he's got a lot of extra skin, so it's really fun to play with. You can kind of do anything to him. You can twist his skin around, you can gather it up. His wrinkles are really weird. His eyebrows are all weird and broken, but I don't know, I don't, I know he looks weird. But we have a very special relationship and I love him very much and he loves me too. I don't think of him as weird looking at all. When I look at him, I see his personality and his desire to love and be loved. He's unusual. And if he were a human, he would get teased so bad. Esau has congestive heart failure, and I know that he will not be with me for very long, but I take the best care of him that I can. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Meow.